Celestial Gaming Academy. Where life is just another game. Kelt Wogan versus Nintendo. Game 14. Super Mario Bros. Alright, one of the games I grew up on. Definitely the game I grew up on on the NES. First played this when... Visiting a neighbor of a babysitter. I had the Atari 2600 at the time. Well, obviously, I'm going to use warps, because I'm not as good as a speedrunner, but I can get through the game pretty quickly. Doo, 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 doo. Not going to bother with getting like 500 points or all that. Uh, time ended in a 6, so it's going to shoot off 6 um, fireworks. If it ends in a 1, 3, or 6, it shoots off fireworks. Other than that, it does not. So if you want to be able to predict when those show up. World 1, 2 is the first level where we get to warp to a different world. I'll grab this uh, firepower real quick. Do, 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 do. Oop, missed the jump there. Take those guys out, and we'll take a little uh, shortcut past all the enemies by climbing up here. You need a running jump. You can always make the hole bigger if you need to. And voila, now we'll just run through the rest of this. Coming up, we gotta jump down here, jump up here, and you can go in through there to finish the world 1, 2, or skip to worlds 2, 3, or 4. World 4 1, I used to struggle a lot with back when I was taking my time trying to grab the coins and stuff like that because I was always dying. But as I got used to games more and more, I realized. The time limit is there for to rush people when they're taking their time, but other than that, it's not really necessary. It doesn't take very long. For two is the second world where we can warp to another world. Choose choice is uh, worlds six, seven, or eight. If you use the vine, I'm going to show off a little glitch that I learned as a kid. Most people don't show it off because it's not exactly something that... See, I got stuck on the side there. It's not exactly something that saves you time, but it's nice to show off. So here will get us uh, warp points to level 6, 7, or 8. Oh, missed the block. There we go. Here's the vine. If you go to the end of the world and go on top of the level like you did in World 2, you'll get to skip to World 5. <clears throat> world 8, last world. This one, got to actually do all four of them. Those beetles, you can't shoot with a fireball. Or kill in any way other than knocking them off the edge of something. I want to say I don't have much difficulty with this one, mainly because I just get the firepower early enough, and then the rest of the levels are easy. That makes the firepower makes this one easier if you don't know what you're doing. There's a star right there. It's the third block in, which allows you to get through most of the rest of the level if you hurry up. Alright, and that's where it runs out. We got a few more enemies to jump past. Got some Goomba. Nope, don't got Goombas coming up. Here's the end of it. And there it is. World 8 2, I probably have the most difficult time with. But it's also. If you get a little bit past the beginning, you have infinite lives. So if you're small, you don't have to crouch, obviously. I usually wait for the cloud to move back to the left. Whether or not you kill it, you want to jump on this spring straight above it, you get a 1-up. If you're big, you can knock it down. If not, you want to keep it on your screen. Because old games didn't have good memory. If something went off the screen, it disappeared. But as long as you pick up that 1-up every single time, you have infinite lives. 
Okay, this jump, if I'm big, I usually just walk to the edge. If you're small, I run off of the uh, pipe that the piranha plant's on. No. Okay, good. Still got my firepower. Makes 8-3 and 8-4 a lot easier if you're not small. Do, 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 do. Alright, that's a two, two more levels to go. This one's mainly flat ground, but you do get to see the hammer bros. That's why the firepower makes it easier. You can get a uh, power up. It's a mushroom if you're small, firepower if you're big. I don't know if they call it firepower or flower power. Probably flower power. Two more hammer bros. And there's a, another power up on this one as well, except for this one's on the left instead of the right. Second block in on both times. Little Koopa Troopa, more hammer bros. Prana plant, and then more hammer bros. And now we're near the end of the level. I take my time with these, because I don't want to mess up. Not exactly sure how the speedrunners do that little flag glitch where the flag doesn't drop. I could probably figure it out given enough time. Something to do with jumping on the edge and then jumping immediately afterwards. I go slowly down to the bottom and then back up and run and jump across that. The way to figure out which pipe to go down is pretty simplistic on this last one. So if you run and jump, you can actually go across that, but sometimes I hit my head if I'm big. So I always take the platform. And it's always the first pipe after the lava. That, not the first lava, but that second one. And then it's after the first lava on these next two. So like here's the first lava, it's that pipe. Which means we need to find a hidden coin. Hidden coin block. Alright, we got some flying fish, and the first lava, followed by the first pipe. Now we're in the water. Now with old pixel style games, usually characters have a uh, hit block, and because the hit block was designed around the small Mario, technically anything that hits Mario's head when he's big Mario doesn't actually hurt him. It has to hit the part where he it would be as a small Mario. So the bottom half of the character is the only spot where you can get hit. If you have flower power, you can just shoot him. Other than that, that's if you wanted to keep it for going through quest two. Um, other than that, you could have just run, taken the hit, gotten small, and gotten the axe that way as well. Or if you're just big and you don't have the flower power. But that is the end of the game. Uh, quest B, you can skip all the way to World 8-1 if you want to. It makes everything a little bit harder. Uh, quest 2, I should say.